Okay, in this lesson we're going to look at constructing perpendicular bisectors. Okay, so first of all, in a perpendicular bisector question, they will have normally a line drawn for you. So let's draw an 8 centimeter line. So there's our 8 centimeter line. Now it's very important that you do this extreme, uh, very accurately to make sure that you know, you're know you getting the accuracy marks. Now, uh, the term perpendicular bisector, let's break it down. Okay, bisect, well, cut something in half, perpendicular at right angles. So we're going to uh, do the perpendicular bisector for this line. So in other words, we're going to draw a line that cuts this line in half, so 4 centimeters either side, and at a right angle. Now in a, bi a perpendicular bisector question, you're going to need two things. You're going to need a straight edge, so your ruler, and you're going to need a compass. Make sure your compass is a good compass. Make sure that it's, um, make sure that it's fairly tight, so if it's too loose, it won't work too well. Okay, so to construct your perpendicular bisector, the first thing you want to do is to make sure that your compass um, a point is on one end of the line, like so, see it's on that one point of the line, and make sure that your pencil is over halfway, see it's over halfway of the line. And then what I want you to do is to draw an arc from the top down to the bottom, like so. Sometimes people just do the top part and the bottom part, but I'm just going to do the whole arc like that. Keeping your compass the same size, so keeping it the same size, put the point now on the other end of the line. And then repeat. So, draw your arc all the way around. Like so. Okay, so you've now got two arcs, and you can see here that they cross at the top and they cross at the bottom. Then finally, get your straight edge in your pencil and join those up. That line I've just drawn from here to here is called the perpendicular bisector. It cuts the line in half and it cuts it at 90 degrees. Uh, leave on your construction lines. These lines, the arcs are called construction lines. The examiners like to see those to so make sure that you haven't cheated and just use your, uh, your protractor and your, um, and your pencil. So that is a perpendicular bisector. It cuts the line in half and um, 90 degrees. Let's have a look at a typical exam question now. Okay, we're now going to look at a typical exam question. Uh, the question is drawn a quadrilateral, um, A, B, C, D, and they've called it a walled garden. And the question asks us to, using a ruler and compass only, construct the perpendicular bisector of A, B. So in other words, they want us to bisect the line A, B, so in uh, with a perpendicular bisector. So, get in your compass and your pencil. Put the compass over halfway of the line, put the point on A, and draw an arc below and above the line. Get your compass, put it on the other side, on B, and repeat. You'll see that those two arcs intersect, and we're going to join those up. And actually, you see, I haven't just joined them up, I've actually extended the line. Uh, you'll see why in a minute, okay? It's just useful to do that for a later part of the question. Okay. Okay, as you can see, we've now done uh, two questions on perpendicular bisectors. We're now going to use... Um, we're going to now carry on this question, the exam question, and we're going to have to do an angle bisector. So if you haven't watched the video on angle bisectors, watch that one now, and then come back to this video. Okay, so that was part A, we have two marks, what we've just done. Part B, a statue stands in the garden. So the statue in the garden, and the statue is equidistant from A and B. So all these points on the perpendicular bisector, on this dark line, are equal distance from A and B. Because this line cuts at half and 90 degrees, in the middle is obviously equidistant from A and B. The point up here would be in equal distance from A and B. The point at the top would be equal distance from A and B. And so on for beneath. Okay, So all these points are the same distance from A as they are from B. And it says, so the statue is equal distance from A and B. So it's anywhere on the line we've just drawn. And it is also equidistant from the walls AD and CD. Okay, so it's saying that it's equal distance from this line and this line. 
Well, to create, um, to label where, or to find where any point is equal distance from two lines, you draw the angle bisector. If you draw an, ang um, an angle bisector in the middle of these two lines, anywhere in the angle bisector would be an equal distance from the two lines. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the, construct the angle bisector for the angle ADC, and where that crosses the perpendicular bisector of AB, well, where those two points will be, or where those two lines intersect will be where the statue is. So let's do that now. So get your compass and your pencil, and what you want to do is go to the watch. Obviously, watch the angle uh, the video on angle by sectors, um, but you're going to get your compass, put it on the point D, and do an arc on the line AD, and a line an arc on the line CD. So now we've done our two arcs. Then get your compass, do an arc towards the middle, and put the point down here, and an arc towards the middle. And you can see now we have constructed um, we have constructed the point where if we draw the line from D through that, that would be the angle bisector. So you get your ruler and your pencil and very accurately draw the line. So we've now constructed the angle bisector. You can see that the line the angle bisector and the perpendicular bisector meet at this point here. That point there is the point S. So it's said in the question to label the position of the statue with S. So in other words, the statue would be here.